I'm very fortunate to have been involved with the drafting of the new insolvency law and I'm very pleased that it's now been approved. The current law as drafted, it, it lacks some clarity in certain areas which the, the new reform hopes to solve. Under the current law, there's no distinction between a solvent and an insolvent company and anybody can be appointed as a liquidator of a company, regardless of whether it's solvent or insolvent. And so that's, that's obviously something that's subject to abuse potentially. The law reform will give liquidators and administrators greater powers to obtain information from directors and from officers and it will also give us uh, better powers to potentially pursue recovery and therefore benefit creditors. At present there's no obligation upon liquidators and administrators to report director misconduct uh, but under the new law liquidators and administrators will be required to report on any misconduct we're the largest dedicated recovery and reorganisation practice in the Channel Islands. We have three UK licensed insolvency practitioners supported by a team of accountants and fraud examiners. And our job is to wind up companies and to seek to maximise recoveries for, for creditors where possible. And the change in the law will certainly help us to do that.